Welcome back, all you fun people out there. After yesterday's video, I was like, you know what? I kind of wasn't happy with those loose leaves real quick. Let me try and pick up four more, see if we might have any better luck. Um, it's just like my way of testing the card store out, seeing if they might be trying to pull the good stuff. I don't know. I'm super wary when it comes to just buying things that are already opened in a booster pack. Now that I know that people can kind of like get a lot of the good stuff from the inside and take it and... I'm just super wary. So uh, we're gonna see if we can pull anything greater outside of these guys. Worlds is of course over, and so is most of my Worlds hype. I think lately, I've just been, what I, I've been trying to like figure out different sets to get. Um, what is it? I, I keep seeing Aquapolis and a couple others. People keep talking about those. Has some really nice cards inside. My friend showed me a couple of them. But I have to see if I can get the money for that because I see the booster box are like $8,000. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> At least not that I know of. But, uh, whoa, that Machoke is pretty strong. Picking up a whole rock. That's more like a boulder, honestly. That's a Glalie looking back all condescendingly. A Clefairy looks like about to do Metronome. Barboach. Carvana or Carvana. A Fletchling just chilling there. Litwick. A reverse hollow energy recycler and the rare will be an Ori Corio. So those guys, I kind of when I heard about Sun and Moon, I like the Ori Corio sets. I think they're pretty dope. And with how they work, what is it? Based on the different islands you go to, the different Ori Corios have what is it? Are they they've developed or you can change your Ori Corio? It's been like almost a year since I've actually played Sun and Moon. Honestly, I, I played it and then I kind of gave up on it just because most of my friends have had like. Wow, I'm really bad at this. But uh, they've had Pokemon since, like, red and blue, and they kept switching over most of their Pokemon. So they have maxed out IVs, EVs, and all the other good stuff. And I'm just like, I don't feel like doing all that training, honestly. It's a lot of work, at least to be competitive. And I love to be competitive, so if it takes that much work, I just kind of bow out. But uh, Multi-Switch, Komala, Machop, a Fletchling, a Lolan Vulpix, Man, I like the way he's just, if I could have a Volpix as a pet, I think that'd be kind of dope. It's kind of like a poodle of sorts. A Gothita. This is, what is this, the baby of Jinx? Look at that. I, this is the spawnling of Jinx. Or the Alola, they, they just call it Alolan Jinx. You have Chansey, a Murkrow. What is that? Oh, he is supposed to be a thief. That's like a, a little necklace in his mouth. That's kind of actually dope. Like if you can see like right there, he's like stealing something. What? Wow, that is, okay. All right, that makes up for yesterday. That is a hyper something, rainbow. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I was not expecting to pull that at all. Lycanroc, I, I kind of like him. I think he's dope, at least his ability. And rainbows, I want to collect all the rainbow rares. So that's not bad at all, not bad. Definitely makes up for yesterday's disaster. I wasn't even expecting it. I didn't realize that Murkrow was a hollow. I thought it was just normal Murkrow, just chilling there, just stealing stuff. Stealing all my rares and all my hollows. But he gives and taketh away. We have a, well, we all know what that is. Aqua Patch for the Grand Ninja decks and whatnot. Vanillish. Enhanced Hammer. A Gothita. Pancham. Yo, he looks mad dope. I actually liked him. I forget. I think he was in, like, what, X and Y? I thought he was dope. I kind of gave him up, though, because I thought he was going to be weak. Turns out he's not as weak as I thought. I've seen people take down the Elite Four with him. So should have definitely kept him in my party. But we have a Reverse Hollow Watchdog. And then the rare will be a Honchcrow. And then the final pack that we have. We can see the, the Machop, but we're not going to say anything about that. Just act like he's not there. We'll push him back a bit. That's what we'll do. We'll push him back. Got some energy in the front. A Matang. A Komala. Energy Lotto. If anyone's trying to play the Lotto and see what energy you get. There he goes. Machop chilling right there in the back. Fletchling. A Lolan Volpix. A Gothita. Chansey. A Reverse Hollow Purple Pass. And the final card will be none other than Pangoro. So that's the evolved form of the one other dude. I thought he was strong. Just... You don't make a Pokemon like that, not make him strong. So, I mean, card-wise, he's, he's lame. In the game, he's actually pretty good. At least better than what I thought he would be. But the big 
Takeaway from this set, though, is definitely the Lycanroc GX. It's not the Lily I was looking for, but I will take a Rainbow Rare. It's always great to pull one of these guys. But, like always, if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to see more content. If you're just here for the code cards, subscribe so you can be first to be notified. Whatever the reasoning being, just let me know down below, and I will catch you guys in the next video.